Remember to stay hydrated, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Notorious EDC AGP or All Good Pouch. I've had one of these in my possession for about two months now, and I'm ready to give you guys my full impressions. Oh, and by the way, there's gonna be a massive announcement in this video, so sit back, relax, and let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and you guys really seem to like my pocket dump slash pouch review videos. It kind of feels like we've been building a community around all this EDC stuff. And if you've been a long time follower, you'll know that within the last year or so, I've been trying to diversify that content into more EDC tools, pouch organizers, and that type of stuff. That's a great segue into my big announcement. Guys, I am going full time. This has been an absolute dream of mine for the past year and a half and it's thanks to you guys that I'm able to do this. All of you guys that have hit that subscribe button, throw me a like or a dislike, or even left a comment have really helped contribute to me doing this full time. And again, thank you guys so much for helping me make this happen. It's literally a dream come true. My plan for 2023 is to basically put up two to three full length videos, do about two to three live streams per week and do daily shorts content. I hope my content brings you value as an individual. So just get ready. 2023 is gonna be absolutely insane. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's talk about the AGP and my overall thoughts. First off, this is going to be a different size pouch. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the What a Slider or even the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus. Just to show you, here's a quick size comparison between the two. And here's the Data Crew What a Slider right next to it. In terms of dimensions, it's about six inches in length, four inches in width, and then about two inches in total height. The AGP comes in a bunch of different variants. I've got this black X-Pack version with the orange interior. We've got the tiger stripe and then also the desert camo. I believe there's also an orange X-Pack and a woodland camo version as well. But I'm sure Tom over at Notorious is gonna be releasing a bunch of different variations on top of what he's already got. Now the AGP goes for about 50 bucks on Tom's website. I'll be leaving a link in the description below if you're interested in looking at one. And it features a bunch of different things inside the pouch. So first off, you have this full loop on the front or full Velcro on the front so you can really customize it with your own Ranger eyes or patches. It's got a YKK zipper as the main zipper. You also have another YKK zipper here on the back and an additional YKK zipper here on the interior. In terms of the interior, there are padded walls here on the front and the back side of the pouch. So if you are gonna be carrying some expensive gear, this will really help protect it. The AGP also does feature a bunch of these elastic sections. There's vertical elastic straps as well as horizontal elastic straps. They're also double layered. So if you do want to store something big on the interior and then something small on top, you can really pack up this AGP and make it feel like an absolute brick. Before I give you guys my overall thoughts on the pouch, let's give a quick word to today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by House of Blades, a premier knife dealer located in Fort Worth, Texas. House of Blades is the one-stop shop if you're looking for really high-end knives, budget knives, multi-tools, water bottles, you name it, and they will probably have it. The reason why I love the House of Blades is because of all their different brand offerings. They stock Benchmade, Microtech, Spyderco, ZT, Kershaw, Civivi knives, Yeti, just to name a few. They also offer a really cool laser engraving service. So if you're someone that wants to have a unique knife that's really personal to you, all you gotta do is send over your files and they will engrave it straight onto the blade. If you're interested in purchasing a new knife from House of Blades, make sure you go to the link in the description below and use code EDM for 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much to House of Blades for sponsoring this content. Let's get back to the video. So now that I've given you the specs and features about this pouch, let's talk about my overall impressions. We'll start off the pros to make things easy. So the first thing that kind of blares out is gonna be the overall interior space of the AGP. This pouch is absolutely massive in terms of the internal space. So here's a quick reference of the AGP next to the Mighty Pouch Plus. Just look at the surface area difference on the AGP versus this Mighty Pouch Plus. You've got a ton more space and a lot more organization in the AGP. I counted up the amount of tools that you can put inside the AGP, and it turns out that I can fit up to 10 different tools, if not more, inside this single pouch. The Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus pretty much maxes out at like six to seven items, if not less than that. And that gets into my next pro when you do you pack up the AGP, this thing feels like an absolute brick. Everything is held in place with these elastic straps so you can really trust this pouch to keep your really precious gear and tools safe. The next pro is gonna be pretty interesting 
because of the customization that you can do on these pouches. Now the AGP I believe is one of the biggest pouches in terms of the amount of hook and loop that you have on the front. Hook and loop is pretty much Velcro so you can really customize your pouches. To give you a quick reference point, here is the Mighty Pouch Plus just fully decked out with Ranger Eyes and here's the AGP next to it. The AGP just has so much more space that you can fit a ton more Ranger Eyes on here. Now for me personally, I'm a content creator so I really want the aesthetic of the pouch to kind of portray the overall theme of either my photo or video. The next pro on the list is going to be the overall value of the AGP. Again, this thing goes for about $50, which is an absolute steal that puts it in a very competitive price range, especially if it's going to be competing against the Mighty Pouch Plus or even the Data Crew What a Slider. The Mighty Pouch Plus goes for about $50 and then the What a Slider goes for about $60. So not only are you getting a lot more space on the pouch, but you get a ton of organization. It feels like a brick and it's only $50. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to ask, Brandon, with that $50, how does the build quality feel? It's actually not that bad. There are some cons and we'll talk about that here in a second, but with this X-Pack black version, it feels very durable and robust, especially with the padded walls. I feel like I can throw this onto cement and all of my gear inside will be protected. But yeah, there's all the pros about this pouch. Let's talk about the cons. So first con that I had about this pouch is going to be the zipper pulls. That, that just sounds cheap in my opinion. And I love that garage built gear as well as data crew. They usually just put a paracord on the zipper pull so it doesn't make a ton of noise. You'll see it in a bunch of my pocket dump videos. I'll usually just chop off the zipper pull and then put on my own paracord and bead setup. So that way it doesn't make like any noise whatsoever. It just makes it feel cheap. So if you do end up grabbing one of these, I would highly suggest just picking up some paracord if you have some laying around the house and then as well as a bead. The next con I have on this pouch is gonna be these loops here. So these are made for carabiners so that way you can just hook them to your jeans and then just walk around that way. For myself personally, I don't wear a lot of jeans and I don't carry a carabiner. So in my personal opinion, I would actually cut these things off. Now there was a situation at Blade Show West where I did turn this thing into like a super small, tiny sling bag. You can basically pick up one of these straps off of Amazon and then hook them inside to these loops here and you can carry around your chest. It's kind of like literally turning it into a man purse in that sense, but it did the job and I think that's the only positive that you'd get out of it. In terms of aesthetics, I really don't like these loops. The next con that I have is going to be the zipper here, and it just doesn't feel as high quality as like the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus or the Data Crew What a Slider. The advantages of the What a Slider is the fact that it has some of this weather guard on the zipper itself, so that makes it feel a little bit more premium. And then Garage Built Gear uses this insanely thick zipper. To give you a quick reference, the Mighty Pouch Plus just has this super huge durable zipper. I feel like it will last for a lifetime, whereas with this zipper pull, if I just use it every single day for like five years, that may go out on me. You know how jackets get, you know, when they get really old and it basically just breaks the zipper when you're using it all the time. I get that feeling with the AGP. That might be one thing that Tom can change in the future just because it's the zipper. But again, this is Tom's first pouch design, so I'm just not going to knock on him too hard because this thing is fantastic. The last con I have on the AGP is how exclusive it is. This thing is extremely hard to get. It's almost similar to the Mighty Pouch Plus. And Tom usually announces drops on his newsletter through his website, on Instagram, or on Facebook. So if you guys are wanting to get in on one of these, make sure that you're signed up on the newsletter, follow Tom on Instagram, and become a Facebook group member. My conclusion on this pouch is it's an awesome value. If you can pick it up at $50, just do it. You will not regret it. And they resell for anywhere between like $60 to $100 on the secondary. It's got a great build quality. You can fit a ton of gear inside it and it feels like an absolute brick when you pack these things up. On top of that, this thing has a ton of room for your Ranger eyes and you can really customize this to your heart's content. By the way, shameless plug, guys, check it out. Everyday Minimalist V2 patches. You know what? I'm going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away one of these patches. Just let me know in the comment section below what your most favorite EDC item is. That will automatically enter you in the giveaway and let's just say here within the next two weeks, I'll I'll be doing a live stream just announcing the winner of the new V2 patch. And just to reiterate one more time, I appreciate you guys for helping me go full time. I'm absolutely ecstatic to be doing this and 2023 is going to be absolutely insane. You guys have a great rest of your day and I guess we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.